Hello. Welcome back to Lily's Viking Adventure. Today I have an article from worldhistory.edu.com about the Egyptian primordial goddess Amunet. I hope you enjoy it enough to support my channel by liking, sharing, commenting, or subbing. Amunet, also known as Amonet, was one of the obscure deities of ancient Egypt. A primordial deity, Amunet was revered as the Hidden One in ancient Egyptian religion. The Egyptian city of Thebes served as her major worship center right up until the Ptolemaic era. Myths about Amunet, she was the goddess of protection, air, invisibility. Her consort was Amun. Her symbols were the Ankh, snake, hawk, air, and ostrich feather. <clears throat> Her powers were invisibility and strength. Epithets, the hidden one. Other names, Amunet, Amonet, Ninuit, Nit, Init. Association, Amun, Nith, and Mut. Amunet and the Ogdod of Hermopolis. The Ogdode of Hermopolis was a group of eight primordial deities, four male and female couples, often associated with creation and chaos. Amunet was associated with the creator god Amun. Both deities were believed to have emerged long before the beginning of time and creation. Like the other members of the Ogdode of Hermopolis, Amunet could be seen as a concept rather than a god. The members of the Ogdode represented different aspects of creation. Amunet and Amun were considered the invisible parts of creation, hence their association with air, stillness, and silence. Amunet is the goddess of what? Although a slightly obscure ancient Egyptian goddess, Amunet still held an important role in ancient Egyptian religion. She was considered a primordial deity that existed before the creation of the universe. Family and Association Thus she is a member of the eight primordial deities known as the Ogdode of Hermopolis, which includes Nu, Nuanet, Hihu, Hihut, Kakui, Kekuit, Ninu, or Amon. Amunet was usually associated with the creator god Amon. Both deities constituted one of the four pairings of the eight deities of the Ogdode of the Hermopolis. Like Amon, Amunet was known as the Hidden One. In the earliest known ancient Egyptian religious text, the Pyramid Texts, Amunet and her masculine counterpart, Amun, are described collectively as the benefe beneficent shadow of Amun and Amunet. Amunet goddess statue was built by 18th dynasty pharaoh Tutankhamun. Powers A Theban deity Amunet was revered and worshipped because she protected the kings and queens of ancient Egypt. The goddess was often invoked during rituals and festivals organized by the royal court. One such festival was the Sed Festival, where the pharaoh's continued reign was celebrated across the land. Worship and Cult Centers Located along the Nile, the ancient Egyptian city of Thebes in Upper Egypt, hosted Amunet's cult center and worship. Amunet in Luxor. Thebes, present-day Luxor. Luxor Governate, Egypt, is about 500 miles south of the Mediterranean. It was an important religious and political hub for Egypt, particularly for upper Egyptian rulers. The city housed major cult centers of many Egyptian deities, one of them being Amunet. Up until around the 12th dynasty, 1990 to 1804 BC, 
worship of Amunet was quite common. Over time, her worship evolved, and the Egyptian mother goddess Mut began to incorporate many of her roles. Even though Mut replaced her as Amun's consort, Amunet still remained, remained very much relevant in Thebes and the Egyptian pantheon in general. Her role. Amunet was generally associated with Egyptian kingship and pharaohs, and in spite of her somewhat diminished role in the Egyptian pantheon, Amunet still fulfilled her duty as the protector of Egyptian pharaohs. She was implored to nourish the rulers of Egypt, as in one of her carvings which showed her suckling Philip III of Macedon in the 4th century BC. Her epithet as the Hidden One led many ancient Egyptians to associate her with death. Some myths state that she stood at the entrance of the underworld to receive the souls of the dead. Due to her association with the creator god Amun, some myths state that the tree of life on earth emerged from her. What is Amunet depicted to look like? Amunet was often shown as a woman wearing the red crown of Lower Egypt, also known as the Deshret crown. In her hands were sometimes an Ankh, the Egyptian symbol of life, and a papyrus staff. Occasionally she was depicted as, as a woman with a snake head, other times she was shown a full snake. Her association with air also meant that she was sometimes depicted as a winged goddess. Amunet's relationship to other Egyptian gods and goddesses. In the Karnak temple complex lays the festival hall of Tutmos III, where the goddess Amunet is depicted side by side with ancient Egyptian god of fertility, Min. This local goddess of Egypt, ancient Egypt, was also associated with Theban deities like Mut and Amun. According to some records, she was also associated with Nith, the Egyptian goddess of wisdom, mothers, and childbirth. So the, that's all for this one. Uh, definitely a very interesting deity to be sure. I would like to uh, draw some kind of uh, ties to Nott, the Norse goddess of night, and also to Lilith. All of these goddesses share very similar qualities, and I believe them all to be one and the same. There are many of these night goddesses that share these similar qualities and similar powers, similar abilities, um, and so I just wanted to draw that line for you and just take a look into the... I have videos on Lilith and Knot um, drawing those chords of distinct similarities. So if you want to check that out, that is in my playlists. Very long. I mean, I think it was almost three hours long, but it's very thorough. So if you're interested in that, go check those out. Please give me a like, a sub. I really appreciate it, and it's helping me to get my channel going. So I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back and watching more. Thank you, and it's been crazy. I'm just so pleased that people actually are enjoying this because I really enjoy doing it. So thank you. I will see you next time. Leave me a comment, share, do all those things, and have a good night. Thank you.